In 2016, we opened, and uh, my husband had a friend who is with the Gomez Sanchez family. He grew up with the grandchild of Pedro Gomez, mm -hmm. who is one of the first cigar aficionados. He is in the book, the original hardcover book, not the magazine. Mm -hmm. And Pedro Gomez took the seed from Cuba. He worked at the H. Upman factory, and he took it to Nicaragua, mm -hmm. and there came, what's the name of their cigars? Uh, Gomez, Gomez Sanchez. Sanchez. Gomez Sanchez, okay. Yes, so right. he was really pushing Rafa. Mm -hmm. He's like, you should do it in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and you know, there's no real Cuban-owned cigar mm -hmm. shops here. There's plenty in Miami, right? That's right. Yeah. So we were like, well, let's just try. And then one day I was like spending a lot of money on coffee every day, like almost $10, on this, you know, other place. Uh -huh. And they were, I would ask for extra caramel because I like a caramel latte. And then I said, you know, well, Rafa got tired of me spending a lot of money. <laughs> and so... Yeah, like a $70 every week. <laughs> yeah. And so he's like, I want to see how to make this. So we went and bought an expensive, uh, you know, coffee machine for espresso. Mm -hmm. And then he got some caramel because what happened, they changed the caramel too and I didn't like it. It tasted cheap. And mm -hmm. so he was like, let's make it. Like, I'm going to make it. And ever since he did that, mm -hmm. we... Uh, I was like, babe, this is so good. We mm -hmm. should sell this. Uh -huh. And then next thing you know, we were like, okay, what we're going to do, why not try cigars and coffee? And that's a perfect combination. Mm -hmm. I'm a native Floridian myself. Spent a lot of time as a kid in Miami. And coffee and and good cigars, especially specifically Cuban coffee. Que rico. Uh, you can, it's perfect. It's perfect. Yes. So the two of you started Havana Cigar Lounge. Were you both cigar? Obviously, Rafa, you and I talked. I know you were a cigar smoker. Were you, Heather, were you a cigar smoker before this? Not really. Okay. No. Did he corrupt you and bring you into the lifestyle? Just a bit. Just like, a bit? You know, okay. we only need one to uh, <laughs> get high on their own supply. So I try to be more of the coffee drinker. Okay. You okay. know, but I, I do, I will smoke on occasion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been smoking, uh, Rafa? Well, I mean, my first time smoking cigar was in 1998 mm -hmm. in Cuba. Uh, basically, uh, I played professional sport in Cuba before. Okay. And when, um, Are you ex baseball? Yeah. No, Hamburg. Hamburg, okay. Huh? Yeah, so when they give me the note, the, the notice, you know, I go play for the Cuban team. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a celebration in one club in Cuba, and one of my friends in one, one Cohiba. Mm -hmm. And, but this is my first time, but I don't like it like that. So, you know, um, I smoke it because I smoke okay. it. Okay. And later on, I come to the United States. Uh, one of my cousins, she worked in a coffee factory in, in Havana. And she always sent me a Cuban cigar mm -hmm. for anybody. And we start, you know, I start smoking like a regular basic. Like everybody told me, hey, you Cuban, man, you don't smoke Cuban cigar. Like, you know, let me try. Uh -huh. So right now, I'll be addicted. Uh, now you're addicted, yeah. No. <laughs> well, I follow you mm -hmm. in that addiction. I'm right yeah. there with you. I understand that. So, for people who may be new to Atlanta, and I, and I know Rafa and you and I talked about earlier about how this is ground zero for the uh, mm -hmm. the sort of the cigar lounge movement, if you will, being in Atlanta. Uh, if they were to come and hang out at Havana Cigar Lounge, what would tell us about it? What would they expect? Can you describe your place? I mean, basically, they they expect to be uh, the authentic, mm -hmm. the Cuban, mm -hmm. the, the, well, the more close it can be the Cuban, you know, okay. because we in Atlanta, mm -hmm. but uh, we should be uh, keep it the uh, original. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. we have it all the time Cuban music and the shop. You could look it's everything about Cuba. So very traditional. Yeah, yeah very, very traditional. traditional. Yeah. So if you come here, you get the true traditional Cuban vibe of people relaxing and enjoying mm -hmm. a good cigar, enjoying good Cuban coffee, yeah. and having a conversation, right? Yes. A good conversation. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Good. Good. And community. And community. They, definitely. People come here. Uh, we are right in the heart of the old Fourth Ward where mm -hmm. Martin Luther King Jr.'s uh, historical site is, ah, that's right. Ebenezer right Church, the where corner. he yes. uh, was a preacher. Mm -hmm. And so we get a lot of tourists from all over the world. I'm Brian Paulus from uh, South Dakota, here at Havana Cigar, just chilling out. Uh, usually go around all over the United States and check out new places. And this is a really nice, little relaxing place. And my favorite cigar is every one of them. I'm here from Boston, checking out Havana Cigar Lounge in Atlanta. 
down here for the weekend, just enjoying the scene, the sights, and the family. And I'm down at Havana Cigar Lounge in Atlanta. My favorite smoke is my father's Flor de Las Antillas. I love the cigar so much because it's a full medium, uh, all Nicaraguan uh, filler and wrapper. And uh, I love the flavor. It's a great afternoon smoke, so. Um, but I think the main thing is that people come here and they commune, they talk, they actually have conversations, which mm -hmm. is becoming a rarity now with our you know, cell phones in our hands mm -hmm. all the time. And mm -hmm. just being able to have some coffee and mm -hmm. discuss whatever. Mm -hmm. When you come here, whether you are a multimillionaire or just someone off of the street, you get treated the same. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, that's yes. beautiful. And one of the things that really impressed me too when I first came here and we met, you gave me a quick tour of the humidor and you really have kind of a focus and really highlight some of the smaller brands. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Well, we, we definitely specialize in Cuban seed cigars, mm -hmm. which of course means, you know, they're legal. They come, the, someone back in the day took the seed to Cuba and they make, uh, from Cuba, I'm sorry, and to Nicaragua mm -hmm. or Dominican Republic, yeah. wherever mm -hmm. they, they may have taken it. But they cultivate it and mm -hmm. they roll it the traditional Cuban way. Mm -hmm. And we know the families, mm -hmm. we know the people. Mm -hmm. It's not just like a big corporation, mm -hmm. but we like, to, my husband of course tests it out mm -hmm. and uh, other aficionados that we have here. But mm -hmm. we also work with a lot of, we work with women owned brands. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorites. Yes. Tres Lindo Cubana. Uh -huh. um, they're two sisters from Cuba. Mm -hmm. And uh, Galan, who's also a Felix Mesa. He's, yeah. he's a Cuban that mm -hmm. he's been for a long time La Placencia, mm -hmm. they make for major brands, mm -hmm. and but the family is still traditional, mm -hmm. you know, and they help their communities, mm -hmm. which is also important to us. So, mm -hmm. uh, who else? La Rosa de San Diego. Rosa San Diego, Gomez Sanchez. Um, of course. They are a lot of boutique. It's boutique. Of, yeah. I, yeah. And, and that's mm -hmm. what really impressed me, because when I go around the city of Atlanta and I'm in cigar lounges all the time. The selection that you have here is very unique and I'm impressed and I love it. I've brought a couple cigars out here and they've been phenomenal. So Wonderful. thank you. <laughs> thank you for bringing that flavor thank you. here to uh, Atlanta. The, the thing is that we, we try uh, all the time to be different to everybody. Uh, not only in, in, you know, in, the, in the shop, but only mm -hmm. the selection of cigar. Because you carry the same cigar to everybody, you don't make a difference. Mm -hmm. So we all the time mm -hmm. try to buy boutique cigar. We try to support the small mm -hmm. business, like people support us. Right, That's because beautiful. we're small. And you and you do always have, uh, you know, big big box places. They're gonna have a lot more cigars than we do. Mm -hmm. But we do, uh, you know, people may ask for certain name brands that they're familiar with. But we have very comparable. In, in quality versus the quantity. That's right, that's yeah. right. Yeah, some phenomenal cigars down here at Havana Cigar Lounge. Uh, some incredible Cuban coffee. If you're a coffee fan, and I am, uh, you guys make delicious coffee, so thank you again. Um, thank, you. thank you for hosting Stickman today. This has been awesome. Uh, teaching everyone about uh, what it's like at the Havana Cigar Lounge in Old Fort Floyd, for those who aren't familiar with it, but downtown Atlanta, uh, Stickman, Follow us on stickmen.blog. Uh, follow Havana Cigar. It's Havana it's Cigar ATL, right? Havana on Instagram. Cigars, Check ATL. them out. Yes. Yeah. Um, Heather and Rafa, thank you very much. It was thank awesome you. chatting with you. Hey, Stickman number one out. Peace. Take care.